What is going on guys, it is Chris and today I'm going to be doing a bit of a commentary video because I kind of felt like doing this. So today I'm going to be playing some Destiny 2 Crucible and we're going to be using some sunset weapons. So right now, my kinetic, I'm using a parcel of stardust, I got opening shot rampage, just run through the quick, quick perks, uh, it has small bore, accurized rounds, and a range masterwork. Not really sure how important that is now. And then in my kinetic, I'm running a thin line. Now this is a 120 hand cannon. Um, the archetype of aggressive hand cannons I got buffed with the recent uh, Beyond Light changes. And I completely forgot that I had this in the vault. I thought I got rid of like a bunch of my weapons, but this one has Rampage. It has Quick Draw. This is pretty much the important perk on this thing. And then Flared Magwell or Light Mag. I kind of like Flared Magwell just for the reload speed and just the slight bump in stability. I play on controller, so having a little bit more stability on my hand cannons, especially the aggressive ones, I really like. And I'm running Crossfire. This is pretty much a sweet spot uh, sight for me. Uh, again, because I play on controller. And then also has a range masterwork. And I'm running Rampage spec. And the thing that I like about this setup is that um, because a Rampage was changed a while back and basically what ends up happening is if I get a kill with the uh, Parcel of Stardust or any one of my guns that has Rampage on it, if I switch to the other gun with Rampage, that stack of Rampage still holds. And then when I'm running Rampage back on both of these, that means I have five seconds of Rampage, it was basically like a kill clip. And I've actually was able to use this uh, setup effectively in one of my previous games that I played. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is why I like having two Rampage guns. So I'm just gonna play some Rumble and we're gonna see how well this works out. Ideally, I think this uh, setup would work better in uh, sixes or in threes, honestly, but in like a team. This is this is a setup that will definitely work a lot better in like team-based gameplay. So Rumble might be a little bit uh, complicated, or not complicated, but it might be a little bit rough to get a sort of uh, streak working with this but i'm gonna give this a shot and see what happens all right bannerfall so this should be a decent map for this just for the range Leave none standing. i'm definitely gonna focus on using my hey right. oh i'm gonna get stuck anyway they're up top i'm pretty sure Hey, buddy. I had no idea what that person was doing. And that's the beauty of the 120. That range is so nice. Like this, like thin line for some reason. Okay, this person's AFK. But thin line is like, a, for some reason, feels really good for like the uh, one for the 120 archetype. One after okay, there's someone else. Okay. I'm very weak. I almost had I almost had that, honestly. But this like for some the thin line has been one of those guns that I've kept coming back to just using in like PvE just because it felt fun. So whenever I got this when I was leveling up, I definitely kept using it. Thank you. Can I? I'm tickling them, so I'm not going to do anything else with that. I don't know, like, I like, I like what they did with 120s, making them very, like, they're very, very useful. Like, their range is 
like before before it felt like if i it didn't matter what hand cannon i was using i was still gonna get outranged by like a 150 or even like some of the 140s but i don't know like this feels like this feels like i'm hitting hitting like insane ranges i don't well, I, I I can't really I can't really describe it. There's probably like it's probably just something that I have to look at like in terms of stats. But like just going off just going off a of feel, I keep going back to wanting to use. Keep, I keep going back to wanting to use these because of the range, and also I can really peach you well with this. Like between like between this and the true prophecy, like if I had to pick one, like I think the true prophecy is still pretty good. Um, but like this just feel like this feels like a lot better to me personally. Uh okay, they're not spawning over there. Like I definitely like this one, because I got a true prophecy with range on it. And I might have to, I might have to go back to trying that to see if I, if my opinions have changed or if I'm just like a little bit better at the game. But. Okay. So I'm like in certain, in certain uh, ranges, it's still not ideal to have a 120 over a one, like any other hand can that shoots faster. But. It doesn't change the fact. It doesn't change the fact that this is still has some of the best damage output. Like I, like I can put out so much damage and peach you like it's Destiny One, and it's le it's less forgiving. Like I think that's what I like most about it is that I f I I feel like one twenties are like the perfect hand cannon that reward precision, and that's sort of how I. Like, even, ever since, like, year one of Destiny 2, when 110, when before these were 110s, they were the only hand cannon that could 3-tap. But they all required precision. Like, the, like, the one, the aggressive hand cannons are so nice because they reward precision. But it, it, it's, it's just so nice. But also, these are kind of forgiving, because like, if you're running against people that are low resilience, you can only hit one headshot. So I guess it's technically not that forgiving. But <clears throat> it's it's a little di it's a it's a little different, and I just I just like using it. Should I? Okay, they're still under there. Okay, that's one. Are you really gonna run away like that? Okay, that was... That person kind of just like stood at me. Which is kind of funny. Also, if I was running, if I was running my rift, like I could definitely get some really good two taps with this. Like it's kind of the, it's kind of the like the nice thing about the one twenties is you get that damage that you would get from the aces mage without having to get the kill first, and then when I have kill clip running or rampage running, I mean, then it's just two taps everywhere. All right, now we're on Twilight Gap. So what I what I want to try and highlight this game is just the ease of use of this gun, I guess. Like I feel I feel like Thin Line is at least in this setup, it just feels it feels really good to use and it doesn't feel like I have to fight the gun a lot. But I'm still rewarded for my I'm still rewarded. Okay, I almost had. Almost had that, and somehow that person's teabagging already. Don't know why. And I got spawn killed. Cool. I should have just thrown. 
So next time I'm just gonna throw my nade. Oh, I guess it, their name is Toxic Teabag. So I guess that's just what they're gonna do this game. You just teabag every kill. Okay, so they didn't challenge that way. That person's not gonna push that. Oh, I can't get the snipe off. Some person's really just gonna teabag every single kill they get, I guess. Oh, I almost had that. See, that's the only that's the only thing that I gotta worry about is running up against Ace of Spades, because that you have the same damage output, but the only difference is Ace of Spades has the uh, it has the benefit of the 140 RPM, so it, they just have the option to get more shots off, pretty much. So that's why that's the only like balance thing that I have sort of noticed is you just if I want to if I want to maximize my range, I pretty much just have to. I have to deal with recoil. Which will be, which honestly is kind of rough, but overall I think I can handle it. I would say I can handle it. I will say, where is this per- Okay, so that person's below. Alright, thankfully it didn't freeze me all the way. I can get out of there. I'm definitely going to be using my hand cannon more. Oh, thank you. I have no idea why. It looked like the person had shield. Alright, let me get out of this area because I don't have enough coverage and I don't have a shotgun. So I don't really have anything to cover the close range. The difference, thing, the difference between using something like a aggressive 120 and like a 140 is just the fact that you don't have the option you don't have much in means of like close range options like it's not it's not optimal to try and use this in like a close range gunfight yeah like right there like if i had a shotgun there I would have just used some of the shotgun, just hip fire, and then clean, cleaned up with the hand cannon. As opposed to using the hand cannon primarily with the 120, like that's where I don't want to play with this uh, gun. And that's some sort of where I'm trying to learn, how I'm trying to learn how I'm using this, is that the way that I play, the way that I play with a 120 is has to be so much different from a 140. Also, now I have Whisper Snipes, so let me see what I can do with this. Oh, come on. That person just dropped immediately. Uh, do I have... Nope, don't have a shot. Are they... Is this... This game's really gonna end? Are they up or below? They're up. Nope, they're not. Okay, I don't know. I know why I did that because I'm used to having my hand cannon as my primary. So when I switched to my shotgun, I was thrown off. Nope. This should be fine. Um, okay. That I don't understand. I don't understand how that worked. <clears throat> also that range. I like that range. And I still have shoots. Oh, uh, okay. Well then. <laughs> I shouldn't have went with the snipe. But what was fun about, like, even there I could still 
you like I, I was still hitting decent range shots with this and I wasn't even using targeting adjuster on here but I did have the targeting mod on there this is the other thing please for the love of god if you're feeling like you're missing shots make sure you have your targeting mods equipped oh my goodness I, I cannot tell you how many times I feel like my guns don't work and then I forget that I'm not using a targeting mod but that's really all I have to show with this. Like the 120, the 120 RPM hand cannons, the aggressive frames, fit a role in Destiny Crucible that I really enjoy, and I'm gonna keep using them. And I'm glad I had this one to use still. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below. Uh, if you've been trying out the 120 RPM hand cannons now, let me know what you think about them. Uh, like I said, I'm enjoying them a lot in PvP, and even in PvE, they're just so fun to use. And as always, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And as always, guys, this is Chris, and I'll see you later.